Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's vlog we're gonna do a follow-up. I really enjoyed the making the last video showing how to descale your Virtuo or Virtuo Plus. I'm just um, grateful and you know so happy to everyone who's commented down below and and um, you know said how much it helped them and um, yeah I just wanted to do a follow-up video and some update. Um, I know I remember last time when, when I did the video, um, it was uh, over a year ago now, that um, I forgot to a couple of things. So we'll go through that thoroughly in this video and stay tuned, we'll start in a minute. So first is um, you gotta turn on your machine and also you gotta remove this and <laughs> any um, capsules in there, use capsules and your cup holder. A couple of things you will need is like a container. Um, on the manual it says you need um, oh, it's almost a litre capacity. It's like 800 mil I think. Um, so we'll just chuck it in there and uh, also the solution, your descaling solution looks like that one. And, some, and also um, you can also use third-party ones. When you're using third-party descaling solutions though, um, just follow the directions. For example, I've got this one here. Um, there will be like instructions there on how, how many mils for, for litre or whatever you need to put in your machine. Um, yeah, because Nespresso only recommends really the legit one. I mean like their official descaling solution. But I don't see any harm using these ones here. So. Without further ado, let's start the process. So, first is turn on your machine and open it. Make sure there's no old capsule in there. Yep, I pretty much cleaned that up. There's nothing in there, so that's pretty cool. Now, also you will need a container that would hold almost a liter of water. I think from what I read, it's like 800 mil in the manual. Then you're gonna need um, the scaling solution from Nespresso. That's the pack there. Nothing in there. There's no capsules or anything. We're gonna turn off the machine by depressing this lever down for three seconds. Three, two, one. Yep, done. That's off. Okay, guys. So I've got the solution and 800 mil roughly of uh, water. We're going to put it in the water tank. So we're going to pour this in here. That's the entire pack. The scaling solution. And now I'm going to chuck some water in there. And then we'll just put the water tank back into the machine. Alright guys, so once we have the solution in there, in the water tank, it's time to enter the descaling mode. So what we need to do is press this button here and depress the lever down for 3 seconds. Simultaneously, we're going to press both for 3 seconds. And once you see that orange light, that means you've entered that functionality that you know you're, you're into descaling mode. So once we see the orange light, we're ready to start the descaling function. Um, just need to activate it or start it by pressing this down again, just like that. And you see that blinking now? That means it's ready to start with a push of this button, which we'll do now. And. There you go, it should do its thing, it's gonna take, you know, a few minutes, maybe 10, 12 minutes or so, depending on the water, but what I've noticed is, um, last time, if you notice the video that I've done, like, I actually, um, supposed to put some more water, I think, so, um, some of the people commented down below, you know, asking, uh, why the light was still on, so that's why you need to exit the the program, which I will show to you later, and also um, probably add more water to it. That's my suggestion if it runs out. Um, so yeah, it will just do its thing, and then we'll come back. I might just have another coffee. 
you can see there's a lot of stuff coming out there like all the nasty stuff you know like every few months you probably have to descale a machine or I read somewhere 300 or 400 capsules or something like that so just um, yeah be mindful of that I mean especially as we go through a lot of coffee in the day so I reckon for us it'll be around every three months we descale Hmm. Guys, we've gone through about 0.8 or 800 ml of water. So now that our tank is empty, we'll now do our rinse cycle. Um, so we'll fill this up with fresh water. Uh, probably just give the container a bit of a rinse and then yeah, and make sure you empty these. So that's where all this stuff will go. All right, I've filled up my water tank with fresh water and ready to rinse the machine by pressing this button. Notice it's still blinking, so we are still in this mode of this game. So that would be starting now, I think. I can hear some stuff going on in the machine. Yes. Alright, that's the recycle. We'll be back in a few minutes again after that. We'll show you how to exit this descale mode. And yeah, we'll go through the process and I need to explain some bit of details that I didn't explain last time in my first video all right might have gone overboard with the water a little bit that's empty now and that's blinking again with orange light um, now I'm gonna show you the last process to complete this this scaling cycle now this is a crucial part we need to exit the descale mode because if you just turn it off, it will just turn on or it will have the green or red light and orange light or whatever and then the machine will still be in in that mode. I think that's what I've done last time. So, we are now ready to exit this mode. Um, as what we did earlier, we're just gonna press this button here and press this down, this lever, at the same time for three seconds. Now that would blink and that should now go green. Once it turns back on again, it, will, it should just stay green. There it is. That means you've successfully done a descale and exited that function. Um, you may have noticed if you watch my other video, that didn't exit properly last time. I think because also I didn't cool down the machine, um, the instruction or the manual says before you make another cup or operate a machine, make sure you cool it down for 10 minutes or so. Uh, maybe those are the reasons. But as you can see now, it's perfect. It's ready to go. After a few minutes, I'll give it a break and then we'll make a fresh cup of coffee again. So after a few minutes, uh, the machine should have cooled down by now. And yeah, it's back to normal. We can now make our coffee. Let me get a mug. <laughs> All right, our first coffee after our descaling mode. Let's make some decaf. Oh! So yeah, I forgot to mention the this hailing solution is around 16 Australian dollars. You can just buy them from the Espresso Boutique or online, readily available. Um, yep, that's our coffee there. Perfect. Ready to enjoy it. And in the meantime, I just want to thank you guys for supporting our channel and watching this video. If you have any more questions or comments, uh, yeah, feel free to shoot me down a message below or comment in the section down there below and uh, if you like this video you can also like it or subscribe to our channel thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you again next time in one of our videos bye now <laughs>